you know how when they traffic they be putting people in rooms and like having other men come and like you know do it with them yeah they might be a little i'm weird. pooping on them but like don't they be seducing they put a drug you oh uh, but i feel like i still damn that's ass I don't even know. Nigga, nah, nah do it while I'm, I, while I'm at full strength, nigga. Right, <laughs> right. I'll be like, y'all, never mind. Like, I'll be like, y'all weird as hell. Y'all get hard to this shit, bro. I'm not even moving for real. I'm like, what niggas? <laughs> I wonder if I got that. I wonder if I pressed the button on that. <laughs> oh my god, that kind of scared me. Wait, go like, let me see. Damn, I thought I could shock you, bro. Oh, dang, that's why I was bad when I freaking pressed the button and I shot my finger. I'm like, I've been mad stacky lately. Dang, I can't introduce the brownies. You want to do the intro? No, you want to play the song first? Yo, this girl is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as she waits, welcome as she's doing this. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number sixty nine. And I'm your host, D W A K Darius. And with me, I got Jay with me. If you haven't noticed already, if you haven't seen her already, you want to see? Hi. She says hello, and welcome back to another episode. Follow all the socials down below. Follow. Us on- I can't even tell this honestly. Why? Because we're not doing good. People are gonna fry me. <laughs> yeah, Jay's a Steelers fan, by the way. Like I said, I feel like all Puerto Ricans are Steelers fans, or I'll say eighty-five percent of them. That's racist. No, it's not racist. Why do you say that? The only Steelers fans you know is my family. <laughs> no, actually, I know a couple. Who? Who is a Steelers fan? Mm-hmm. There's a lot. My family, my no. whole family. Okay, I know your whole, I know your whole family, but there's a kid named Paulie in high school. He was a Steelers fan, the one that be on Chris's tracks. Oh, he's a Steelers fan. But I'm saying that because I'm saying because <laughs> Roberto Clemente, he played on the pot. It's black and yellow. So I feel like I look when you see football, it's just like black. The first black yellow team is the, is the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I was just like. This is a, I was like, I was. That's why I was gonna ask. Is your dad like a Pirates fan? Yankees. But I know he's not. He's a Yankees fan. But that's all I want to say. <laughs> but welcome back to another episode. Follow our socials. If you have, if you hear the chewing, we're eating uh, brownies and stuff like that. To the people in the comments that say they don't want to hear us eat, just go skip along, bro. If you and the people that want don't want to hear the intro, you can skip too. But don't you put timestamps? Yeah, I do put timestamps, but they still want to comment that. Right. Which I understand. I love the feedback. Don't worry. I love negative feedback. I'm waiting for the first dislike of the channel. But don't just do it just because I said it now, you weirdos. <laughs> but <laughs> we are cut that out. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't worried. Because I'm going to say this. If you don't like the video now, your mom's going to die in five seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to hate that. When I used to go on Twitter a lot, they used to be like, if you don't retweet, like your mom's going to die or something about that. And that I used sh- to have to do it. That's what I'm saying. That shit worked. So... You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> I mean, I'm kidding, people. I'm kidding. I ain't those weirdos. But follow the source down below. Follow us on TikTok. We're almost at 250,000. I think we're at 240,000 on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram at no, no podcast. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast, all on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Send it to a friend, like the channel, comment something you want me to tell uh, tell us something. And yeah, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about today. So the first thing. They also told you to cut your intro shorter. I know. I'm like, what do you mean? That they was said, pretty quick. They said, just put, um, just tell us to subscribe down below and start the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with them impatient people? I'm like, what you, like, what's wrong with y'all? But yeah, it was supposed to be a, we were supposed to have another mukbang with crumble cookie, but suppose, but. It's the day after Christmas, people, so it's like... Yeah, my mom didn't work today. So is it like nobody works today? What the hell is going on? Mm-hmm. It's like a like a worldwide thing. My parents didn't work, but I'm just thinking because like my dad had a... Uh, my dad had uh What's it called? They had off. Like I thought... Cause oh, my like mom, they took off? My mom took off to like the 5th of January. Really? Yeah, she always does that. She always saves up her days for like Christmas. That's smart. So, so she's off for three weeks. She was, she'd been off since the... Tw- since our birthday, I think the twenty first. 
That's smart. So she's been she hasn't been working for a minute, but she still goes like to meetings and stuff. But she's not doing all the work. Like she's has to check in and things like that. But <clears throat> yeah, shout out for my mom for making some brownies. I don't even know these dark chocolate. Now these pretty good though. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Libby made these brownies. Oh, you Thank did? you, They're Libby. Good. I'm about to say it's kind of better than mom's though. <laughs> like she did better than us. <laughs> nah, first of we- all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, me and Jay made brownies like I forgot how long ago it was. And our dumb asses was using a measuring thing and we thought it was two thirds cup of oil. No, no. And there was no two thirds on the thing. So we put like a cup and two thirds instead and put that whole thing in there. And that thing was so watery. It was so bad. Oh, my God. It was so bad. It came out so nasty. Well, there was no saving that. That was so bad. And my ear is just, ugh. Sorry. Sorry, people. But. You chew a lot. I know. They're going to hate me. Them people. Them, they was, and it was, they was ganging up on me, too. They are like, yeah, I, I had to skip that part. So? Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. So? You could have skipped it. I don't care. But. I got a lot of topics to talk about today. A lot of stuff been going on in the world. Like, freaking... You been looking at the Tory Lane stuff? I don't really be searching it up, but I hear about it once here and there. It's weird. It's really weird. Because um, supposedly, none of his fingerprints and stuff was on the gun. But he's going in for 20 years? Yeah. That's crazy. And How old is he? Pushing 30. Probably like 20... I'll say 28 tops. So you're going to get out when you're like 40 something. That's 40 so something. sad. I know, right? Maybe he'll get out on like good behavior. Hell no. Parole. That little angry man. <laughs> he ain't going to be fired by prison. But I don't know. It's weird. Because it's like they had, there was an eyewitness that said that he didn't shoot him. Yeah. And the, and the girl admitted, like when they asked her, she was like, I plead the fifth. So that obviously means you did it. And there's no, no DNA of him on, like of his fingerprints on the gun. So it's like. It's supposed to point to like him not being in jail, but I need to be a cop. You know, I've been watching the rookie. I know. She I would have, I would have cracked that case. Jay's on. Jay's new um TV show of the year is the rookie from what's that on Hulu. Hulu. Yo, she's been watching this every day, and she's she's ready to like investigate murder <laughs> mysteries and shit like that. Like she's ready, bro. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. A lot of things. I seen a I seen a video. They was talking about the um, because I guess Tory Lanez like cracked the code for like the. Oh, excuse me, for like the music industry. Because like, I guess he, he started selling NFTs for like a dollar and they're worth like $50,000, $60,000 each. And people, NFTs. it's like, um, <laughs> it's the, the freaking, the little, you never seen the little monkey pictures? It's like, it's like artwork that you could sell. It's like Bitcoins. Oh. I don't know if it's like Bitcoin, but it's like in that area of like, like stocks and things. It's like buying a stock. So he sold it for a dollar and you can buy like a bunch of them. So somebody, if you buy $60 and each of them worth $50,000. Dang. And he just sold them to people. And it was he there was like it was him on live. He's like, Yeah, man, I just sold y'all the gave y'all the tea, gave y'all the scoop. Like here. Like I cracked the code in the industry and now he's in jail. So I'm like, oh, maybe that's why. But nah, that, I think that was a stretch. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Free Tory, but I don't think he did it. No well, signs point he didn't do it, but free that man. And <laughs> did you see his father? Yo, all his rel- they all got big ass heads. <laughs> like his whole family is full of craniums, bro. You see them kids? No. His father looked just like him. Like just imagine Tory Lanez with a beard, a uh, white is, beard. Is his family short? I think so, yeah. Oh. And it's like they have the same head, they got the same like like fake ass hairline. It's like they have no hair, but they have a hairline. How does that make sense? <laughs> like they're like fake bald with like hairlines. It's weird. And then his brother got a big ass head, he got a bald dude. It's just running the family. But I don't know what his father was saying outside the thing. He sounded like a pastor. I don't know what the fuck was going on. He was talking about Jay-Z. He said, fuck Jay-Z, all that shit. It was weird. What the hell? He was trying to say I didn't see that. He said, Jay-Z, all he does is um exploit young black men and put them into bad situations. I don't know what the fuck was going on. He was just preaching. It was weird. But on the other news in New Jersey, some guy died at American Dream Mall. When was this? Because uh, I heard about it, but I don't know when it was. If I'm not mistaken, it was last week. Last week? Might have been last week. It was a, Supposedly, it was a guy from... I seen it on TikTok. It was a guy from Long Island, and he was on the he was on the snowboarding thing. So, if y'all don't know, American Dream Mall is, I think, the biggest mall in New Jersey. Biggest mall in New... Or biggest mall in the world, low-key, isn't it? Or in the country, Yeah, I think. something like that. It's some, the biggest mall somewhere. So, they have an indoor snowboard facility. So, there's, like, little slopes, but it's, like, one big slope. 
And I guess he went down and fell in the back of his head and he like went unconscious and then like he died in like the, the hospital, yeah. which is crazy because that's exactly how I felt. Oh Rem- do you remember that that day? No. Real. Well, you well did you fall on the big one? Yes, I fell on the big one. Like oh. I was going. So so we was. I forgot what. Dang, the- your death would have been on my hands because I made you go. <laughs> what the, I was the, that was it was the second time. Oh, you went we twice. Went. Yeah, we went twice. I didn't go twice on the big one. Oh, you didn't? I went once. No, I mean it was the second time we went to to the thing. Did you go? How many times did you go with us? I think once. Okay, so it might have been. I don't know if he was there. I can't remember. Yeah, it was yeah a- I left me the second time. To go with your friend. Who get you. get out of here? You just didn't want to go because you don't. No, that's definitely a lie. It was because it was for something. You it was and your friends. It was for bash. To. Oh, good. Anyways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but so so I fell the same way he did. Like I like I was going down and I tried to stop and like you know when you stop you're supposed to go like horizontal. So I went horizontal, but then I spun around. And I said shoom, boom, mm. and I hit the back of my head. I was like yo, I'm like yo. And that ice be hot. That's what I'm saying. I hit I that mean, shit. That snow. Bro, no, and I hit that shit so hard. If I didn't have a helmet, I would have died. I thought I I died, but I, that shit hurt, bro. <laughs> I did not go down that big slope. Well, like I went on my butt the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just, like people. That's just mad steep. I'm not even glad steep as hell. And then you see little kids just going down effortlessly. That's like. why. I, that's why I low key went down. It'd be pissing me off. Them the kids be like four or five, just like going down without like falling. I'm over here struggling like a little baby penguin mm-hmm. and shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And it's mad weird because, like, nah, I'm not going to lie. Maybe if I was, like, 40, 50, I would have died if I, if I felt like that again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think I would have died. How old was the guy? He was, like, he was like an Army veteran, like a like an ex, like, Air Force, Marine, one of those people. So, he probably been, like, in his 40s, 30s. Dang. Right before Christmas, too. That sucks, That's so bro. sad. Rest in peace, that guy, bro. Are we still going snowboarding? I don't know. If they, uh, You know what they in should do? honor. In his honor, <laughs> oh, say that just like how I can't go on no no, no more um, uh, carnival rides for that guy that fell. Rest in peace, that guy. I can't. And go helicopters. On. Oh yeah, helicopters. R.P. Kobe, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> but but um, what's it called? Uh, well, I think your mic is kind of low. Say something real quick. Hello, it's me you're looking for. I like that. All right, that was good. <coughs> but um, yeah, so. What's I gonna say? Oh, what I what I would, uh, what's the word? What I would suggest for them to do is like implement like, like uh, tubing. Yes. But I don't think they have enough space. Yeah, for that's that. not big enough for that's tubing. Not, they have to rebuild that shit. That's they should have done that. They or should've. they should take that one side out that has all them ramps and shit. Like move that shit out the way and put it with tubes there. <laughs> Yeah, they should actually. Cause who be going on them ramps? They be professionals. I know, but like they're gonna, you know, them niggas gonna complain. Niggas come from far and wide to go there. That's true. They be snowboard. We got snowboard in the summer. We should have done that this summer. He was telling me about it. We was broke though. I know he was broke as fuck. <laughs> we up now though, people. We up. Shout out Rutgers, Rutgers, Newark. I'm stealing all your money, nigga. Griffin, I'm coming for your job. I hope you see this. Shit. <laughs> fuck, nigga. But I, <clears throat> I got a question. So, which food place would you get rid of forever? McDonald's, Wendy's, Popeyes, or Chick Fil A? McDonald's, Wendy's, Popeyes, or Chick Fil A. <clears throat> you said Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <coughs> you better drink some water. McDonald's, Wendy's, Popeyes, or Chick Fil A? Probably Popeyes. Oh. Popeyes. Chick- think about it. chicken sandwich, French fries. No more chicken. I don't like their chicken anymore. Just cause, like, sometimes they don't be cooked. Oof. The only thing good they got going is their fries to me. Damn, really? So I'm getting rid of Popeyes. Damn, the black people gonna hate you. I got chicken from KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's nasty chicken. You guys, you should have said Jolly I got beef. the homemade fried chicken. Who made chicken at y'all? Me. <laughs> I'm about to say your mom don't make no chicken. Freaky, I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of Wendy's. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Wendy's. Wendy's is. I don't like Wendy's too much. I like Wendy's chicken. Their nuggets taste more real and softer than McDonald's. They do, but McDonald's is just busting though. McDonald's just the artificialness of good. <laughs> it's just so good. I don't know why. Nah, I think McDonald's. I mean, Wendy's is up there with McDonald's chicken nuggets. No Ma- chicken sandwich. I don't even like. They Wendy's. have way better chicken sandwiches than McDonald's. Nah, Wendy's chicken sandwich be dry as so hell. I'm not even gonna lie. You're crazy. That chicken, that spicy chicken sandwich, don't be dry. I never had the spicy. The the regular ones still be dry. Better than McChicken? Maybe I'm wild. Nah, I'm not wilding. I'm going to fight for this one. <laughs> All right, look. McDonald's has to stay. 
Mm-hmm. McDonald's has to stay. Chick Fil A has to stay because it's the most healthier one out of the, out uh, of all of them. It don't really have to stay because Chick Fil A is getting <clears throat> overrated to me. Really? Yeah. Because you you like the wing stop yeah. chicken sandwich now. What if they get rid of that shit? You gonna cry? I'm be sad as hell. But I'm not going back to. I'm gonna cry too. I can't go back to Chick Fil A after that I had the wing stop chicken sandwiches. I will only. <laughs> That one time we went to Chick Fil A, they they uh, waffle fries was actually crispy. That was the best they ever had it. Yeah, their fries aren't even good. It's mid. They're overrated. But I and was... their chicken sandwiches are getting mid too, because people are coming out with bigger and better chicken sandwiches. Mm, that's crazy. Wingstop better than Chick Fil A? Mm-hmm. For sure. Better than Popeyes? Wingstop better than Popeyes? Oh, you crazy though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the is it, what if there's no flavoring on it. On Wingstop? Think about it, put put a lem, put lemon pepper on a Popeye's chicken sandwich like like so. I don't. I right, put a it Popeye's le- chicken sandwich no more because they don't be done on the. Internet. How about Chick Fil A sandwich? Put a lemon pepper lemon pepper seasoning on a Chick Chick Fil A sandwich. That's not busting. I don't know. <clears throat> wow, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm. I just think Wendy's is just, eh. Like I don't even like. I I used maybe it's because I ate it too much. Cause I told you a freaking Collins used to work there all the time. Yeah, I ate Popeye's. <laughs> All the time when I was in high school. So maybe that's why. Because honestly, I can't. Like, I would like Wendy's would be the last choice. I would get like Taco Bell and shit over Wendy's. I would get Taco Bell. I'll get shit. Would I get Burger King? I low key might get Burger King. Over Wendy's, you're crazy. I might get Burger Try King. Try him in the comments, please. Cause that's <laughs> crazy. That's so crazy. Yo, because I don't know. I mean, you know me. I don't even like Burger King. I feel like Burger King is for. <laughs> I don't even go say it. Yeah, don't. <clears throat> They're going to kill me. But I don't know. Oh, Popeyes though, fire her in the comments. Get the yo black folks stand up, bro. Popeyes, she trying to get rid of y'all. Ain't nobody trying to get rid of. She trying to get rid of Popeyes, bro. There's more fried chicken, hmm. Hollywood fried chicken. I get it from a chicken shack. But people don't have uh, chicken shacks around the world. Well, I do. <laughs> That's so crazy. I get rid of Popeyes. People in California would never go to a chicken shack. Would we'll never. We don't even know what a chicken shack is, bro. That sucks. Free them. And people in the wit- they Midwest. They got good eats, though. They don't need to chicken got, shack. They got, like, Mexican food. I feel like that's all they got, though. Just straight, like, <laughs> straight Mexican food. But it was funny because, like, when we went to Cali, it finally clicked in my mind, like, everything, like, where, like, like who colonized it. Because, like, every city is, like, a Spanish word. Like, mm-hmm. same. I, like, I never noticed, like, Los Angeles. I love Mexicans over there. <laughs> yeah, a lot. But they food, bro. Like, them burrito tacos, I don't think I ever get a burrito taco like that ever again in my life. I was drool. You I mean, was, take a trip to L.A. No. Nah. I take a trip to the lake, funny <laughs> that, that sorry, that was a, that's a Jake Critch song, but nah, L A. That was nice. We gotta go there. Where do you want to go to L A. You want to go to San Diego, or you want to just go L A. I want to go to L A. All right, we can go L A. We're going everywhere. I know. We traveling. Yes, sir. Wait, left hand. <laughs> All right. So I got another question, right? Mm-hmm. So do you? So you have to bet your life on this, right? My butt is cramping up. You better stretch. We just started. <laughs> Here you go. So you have to bet your life on this. You have to pick either one, right? Mm-hmm. So who will do it in a faster time? Usain Bolt running a mile or Joey Chestnut finishing 30 hot dogs? Who will finish the? Who will finish first? That's hard. Well, I'm going to pick Usain, Usain Bolt. You're going to pick Usain Bolt? Yeah. I'm going to pick Joey Chestnut because I've seen him eat 70 hot dogs in 10 in minutes. Ten, yeah, I just saw that. So uh so uh so a normal mile for them will probably I would say Usain Bolt could probably run a mile in like four minutes. Nah, maybe not. Four minutes is crazy. I'll say like five. Let's see. Four thirty. He has to have times his fastest mile. Um, I don't know. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. Because he's a sprinter. He only sprints a hundred hundred a hundred and two hundred. So that's four times around. I don't know if he got the endurance. Look that shit real quick. <clears throat> because imagine seventy hot dogs in ten minutes. Seventy. Paul, he had the yo. That is crazy. That shit used to be nasty. Oh, he used to like put the dunk the bread in the water and just uh, for my life. I'm on Joey. Pause. Oh, it says he has never, t- never once attempted four trips around the track. See, there's probably not clocked. Like like actual records, so I think he could probably do it in like four thirty. And how how much you think he could I eat think, hot dogs? I think he could eat thirty hot dogs in like 
three minutes, three four minutes. My ten roll minutes, seventy one hot dogs. So if you want a half that, that's four. That's almost thirty five and five minutes, about around thirty five a little more. Oh, like thirty five hot dogs. My money on bolt. You got you got your money on bolt. I think I think Joey Chestnut could do it. All right, so now I got another question, right? <clears throat> So for $10 million, would you get cracked by Ray Lu- So, all right. That was crazy. That was so crazy. I'm sorry, people. So someone's offering you $10 million, but the circumstances is Ray Lewis is hunting you down once a year to tackle you as hard as he possibly can. Once every year for the rest of your life. I'm so... <laughs> yeah, get the good get cracked. Pause. I'm sorry. All right, all right. So for $10 million... I don't know. I don't think I'm that's... not gonna. It's physically not possible for my body to Listen. obtain that force. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't think I will be able to see what the we what the people in the comments go say. Like, oh, why don't you just buy security guards? You know how much money a security guard is for like for all like 24 hours out of the day. So think about it. If, say a security guard is like what a hundred dollars an hour, 24 hours out of the day. That's 2,400 dollars. 365 days a year. That's almost about what. The a uh, hundred thousand, two hundred, maybe a hundred thousand dollars a year in security. You gonna waste that ten million dollars? And I know they gonna be like, I'm gonna like buy protective gear. No, you have to take it with no gear, no nothing. Exactly. He's gonna come. He's you gonna walk out the shower. He gonna be right there. You gonna boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> so me, but ten million dollars. Butt naked is crazy. Nah, getting tackle butt ass <laughs> naked by Ray Lewis is nuts, and he has full pads on. So he not he's not even. Sk- oh no! See, that's gonna hurt. Crazy. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be having a good day walking. <laughs> I'm like yo, nothing could ha- ruin this day. You are gonna see a sneak attack right behind you. You're like ah, no. Nah. Whiplash. Oh, he's done. Like oh, uh, when I'm older, he might kill me. Exactly. Nah. Yeah, I don't think for ten- the rest of your life is. Ten million though. I don't know. If I had some, like if I was bigger bodied, had some meat on me, maybe, but not. Nah, I'm just bones. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't, ten, I don't think ten million is worth it. If we talking, if we up the price, maybe, but ten million, nah, I don't think it's worth it, bro. Nah, that would hurt, bro. Like when I used to play football, um, I played football for one year in eighth grade, and I remember we used to be in practice in like the cold and the rain. I ain't never like I'm a I play basketball. I'm an indoor sport type of guy. I ain't never been in the rain. Why you shake your head? I should have played indoor sport. I know, it, yo. I ain't never been in the rain. I ain't never been in the and the snow in the in the cold. I never got hit in the bro. I remember I used to play uh I was a linebacker and a tight end. I remember I freaking caught a pass and I was I caught a pass in the middle. So I was wide open. There was one guy, there was it was in practice. There was only one guy. I remember it was freaking He cracked you in practice. No, he didn't crack me. Oh. But do you remember you remember that that uh when we was at Chris's um Haitian thing? Mm-hmm. I said Haitian thing, Haitian party. Remember that one guy that was talking to the little short dude? And his name's Anderson. He was on the football team. It was him. So he was coming up to tackle me. I tried to do a spin move, but I did a basketball spin move where I kept like my pivot foot. So I just I went like this instead of like spun around and it was like so bad. I, he like tackled me. It was so embarrassing. I freaking got I got picked up one time when we was doing Oklahoma drill. They used to do you ever know you know what nutcrackers are? No. That drill that they be doing at the beaches at like Miami. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You ever did that with a freaking a big ass dude before real life with pads on? That shit hurt. I, I do like, it with pads on, but but, Girls that be doing it in the beach, props to you because I'll fight. That's just so embarrassing. It's like a, it's like a, it's like gladiators. Everybody's like, like surrounding you and shit. I'm Imagine like, I get dropped. I'm gonna have to fight you. That's what I'm saying. I like in my head. I'm just like, just don't get cracked. Just don't, just don't get cracked. You're not gonna get making farts. Don't, like you're just literally just trying to truck each other. Exactly. What the hell? But my dad got me up out of there because um, I, I freaking I try to I did what I was supposed to do, but I didn't do it well. <laughs> I tried. I had to fill in the gap, and then a, a lineman seen me and said, oh. it, I, "He didn't crack me though, but you just he you just seen a he heard a big like like crack." So he it was you. no, you did. I didn't fall. I stood my ground. <laughs> you didn't fall. Yeah. Oh, right. oh well, I did what I supposed to do. I fill the gap, so you don't you don't run that way. But <laughs> but you know there's a, um oh people, it's the 26th right now. Me and Jay about to go watch the Avatar movie tomorrow. I'm so excited. We going to the eye pick, yes, sir. Mm-hmm, My time to take him out on a date. Yeah, if you take me out, we up, <laughs> niggas, niggas, we up. <laughs> what are you talking about? We up, we go on dates. We don't take him out on dates. We they take us out on dates. Uh, no, Joe. <laughs> no, Joe, Joe, Joe. But man, I'm excited. 
It's three hours, and I got food at the place, so I'm ready to go. And you know they made a new, they're making a new Avatar series, like like, like the Airbender, Avatar: the Last Airbender thing. With oh, a- like a TV show? Yeah, they make a new one. Cartoon? Hell yeah. Jay don't like it. She's weird. Jay likes only realistic things. Right, like kidnapping. That's why she. That's her biggest fear too, and she still like watches shit like that. You have to be prepared. I You're watch so prepared. many movies. I know if they stick me in a trunk and I have my hands free. You have to pop the light out and wave to people so they can know that you're stuck in there. Okay, what if you can't pop the light out? Then you're done up, but <laughs> popping the light out. All right, so what all right, so what is your tactic? You have to I mean I'd be prepared too. I'd be prepared for weird situations like somebody trying to sneak me if like if like there's murderers coming in my house. Like what so what is your preparation going to be like for somebody like say say you're you're going to wait in the morning mm-hmm. walking to your car. Well, first of all, when I'm going to wait, it's like five o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. So when I open my door, I check if there's anybody outside. Mm-hmm. And I check, check. If there's somebody walking on the street, I close my door and I wait for them to like go around the block. Okay. So then I go to my car. Right when I open my car, I lock it and then I close my door. Okay. Because I heard people when like you don't lock it, some people be like grabbing you off the rip. Mm-hmm. Prevented that. Okay. Then I just go to weights. Okay. I'm I'm prepared. All right. So what if I you need s- a uh, a taser? Yeah, you do need a taser. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a taser. Is that legal? You can carry yeah. a taser. Some some girls on TikTok be making like um little kits and they yeah. have like pepper spray taser like keychain. It's cute. Maybe not a taser because I'm a fucker. You gonna fuck around, play too much around <laughs> with me, bro. You gonna like be, you gonna like really play around. You gonna drop that shit. I'm gonna get electrocuted. We should uh. Try it one day. What? Try what? Getting Get tased? tased? No. Why? We could have clothes on, but it's just, you know, YOLO. YOLO what? No. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> YOLO said no. Well, no, England. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't getting tased. The hell I look like? I ain't in the, in the, in the freaking police academy. I ain't going to do that shit for free. Yeah. Oh, no. Pepper spray is crazy. All right. So, so now, so what if you see uh somebody put a dollar bill on your, on your, on your car handle door? I'm gonna take my gl- a glove. Mm, okay, yeah. okay, okay, you know, you know, because I, I heard, because <laughs> I heard people like when they do like the little sex trafficking thing, they put like they put like a dollar bill on your windshield to put it on like your door handle, and it'd be like some dust or something yeah, that like knocks some... you out, and they'd be like, yeah, take them. So you... Nope, okay. not me. Okay, okay. So okay, so now this is physical now. So what if somebody runs up behind you, like puts you in a headlock? What's your first move? Slip out. Nah. <laughs> what the hell? Like a like a like a like a like a, like a chokehold. Chokehold. Mm, if it's a man, I'm going for the nuts. Okay, so you got kick back your nuts. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm using everything. I'm biting. I'm spitting. What you gonna spit at? He behind you. I don't know. I'm gonna be biting his hand. I'm boom, boom, kicking. All of it. <laughs> See what what I remember they taught. They used to teach us like not us, but I remember there was like a video for like. Uh, violence when I used to do like the trainings and stuff. What you gotta do is you gotta kick their knee in. <gasps> headbutt yeah, them. Headbutt, you gotta headbutt them and then you gotta kick their knee in. Yo, people take notes. My all my I don't even know how many female listeners we got here, but anybody getting kicked up, you kids. Right. You can somebody got you in the back, you gotta kick them in their knee. Yeah, it's gonna if it's gonna be weird in your head because No, but th- once that adrenaline is in you and you get like really like kidnapped, then you can do oh, you're gonna do anything. Well, I tell you that that shit hurt that shit hurts me just just try to break somebody's leg like that. And but, then if they successfully kidnap me, I'm getting in the car and I'm pooping on myself, I'm peeing on myself. All of it. Oh my! Ew. They gonna want. They gonna want to get rid of me. <laughs> ew! What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> they gonna be like, we got a dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> we got to We picked up the dirty one off the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. And then if they what? What if somebody sex traffics you? First of all, well, I mean, I don't really. Think, I don't know if they could do that to men. They probably can't, but like, they's, they's men a, fight back. They some. They some. They some uh, weirdos out there. But you know how when they sex traffic, they be putting people in rooms and like having other men come and like. You know, do it with them. Yeah, they might be a little. I'm gay. pooping on them. They might be a little gay. But, like, don't they be seducing? They put a drug you? Oh. Uh, but I feel like I still. Damn, that's ass. I don't even know. Nigga, nah, nah do it while I'm, I, while I'm at full strength, nigga. Right, <laughs> right. I'll be like, y'all. Like, never mind. Like, I'm like, y'all weird as hell. Y'all get hard to this shit, bro. I ain't even moving for real. <laughs> <laughs> My own niggas. Y'all gonna get hard off of this, bro. Nah. I can't. I'm lit. Y'all, like, like, do people think. Like, don't people think this is wrong? 
Like what? Like what type of nah bitch? Like niggas don't get no bitches ass. Can exactly. you really be? Exactly. Especially okay, the people who sex traffic, traffic have to have some mental issues. I don't know what's going on in their brain, why they find pleasure in that. But then to bring like the other people who actually come in to do something with these girls that are they know are sex traffic, like you That's really can't get nothing out there. Like you can pay for it. Exactly. You can literally pay for some for some hookers, some strippers. You can find. But you're gonna a way. pay for something that's illegal, like. That's what I'm saying. You gonna pay for some like a drugged up girl? She all leaning and stuff like like this. Like how you be get hard? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like like for real. Like what is like you just go like what are you gonna do? She can't even speak to you. They really got mental issues. Like what's wrong with y'all? Like y'all really just like nah, bro. Yeah, like if you want help. the full experience, just go pay for it, bro. There's there's people all over the place, bro. There's dating apps. There's there's that's why there should be. There's probably a different. Reasons why there can't be that that like a there, there can't be that many weirdos in this world where that like sex trafficking is still a thing. It is it unless there's like an underground thing. like oh imagine they're like in an underground like freaking like game show like for the dark web like how <laughs> me and Jason talk about it like an under like they're fighting for their lives right now. Oh, I know right freedom, bro. but. Damn, these brownies are busting right now. <laughs> these brownies are good. But, since we're talking about game shows, I was watching The Maze Runner last night. I rewatched it. That was, that was a good movie. It was. That I was a really good series. That's a good series. I think I was watching it, like, every time it got came out in movies, I watched it with my mom. Really? Maze Runner and Hunger, Hunger Games? Games. Which one you like better, though? I don't know, because I loved The Hunger Games, the first one. The last one was booty. But... <laughs> I think they were on the same level to me because they both had like good scenes. Mm-hmm. They had good storylines. Mm-hmm. So, so now my question is: Would you rather be a runner in the maze runner? So those guys that run through the maze trying to find a way out. Would you rather be that? That seems fun. Or would you rather be a soldier in that Lone Survivor movie we watched? I'm not being a soldier. So you were one of those four soldiers that's stuck in that predicament. I'm gonna be a runner in the maze runner. Damn. Especially I'm with I'm with more people. Are you like what with two, three? How many people were there? I was like three. I'll say three. Uh-huh. But think about it. You gotta get back in time. You gotta run away from the little griever looking things. This and you gotta run. Rem- you gotta run. Rem- that's not fun. That shit will look scary. <laughs> it seems more fun than freaking being a soldier. And you gotta be in shape. Think about it, you running. I mean, I could run. I got a little summon in me. You got a little stamina in you? <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Like like that's that whole man. You gotta figure out how to get out. You think you can figure out how to get out? I mean, I'll be really strategic. Like I'll put, like leave a trail behind to figure out how to get back to the place first of all, and well, then the every pick- day I'll go further and further because every day I'll know where I'm trying to head to. Mm. I think I would probably do. I can, I don't think I don't know if y'all watched Lone Survivor, but if y'all should watch it, that's a pretty good movie. But that movie was really, it was sad and crazy like that. That whole shit was so stressful. I don't think I could be able to survive that. But um, I think I'll be a runner too because I'm just going to be afraid. I'm going to get lost, bro. You know me. I suck at I hate mazes. I'm going to get fucking lost. <laughs> I'm going to get lost. I'm going to get stuck out there. Or or like, you know, when the, the doors close, I'm sprinting back. I'm going to get freaking like stuck in the thing but to die like that. What time? I need to watch it again. What time did the door doors Sunrise, close? Sunrise, sunset. Oh, okay. So... Everybody go in there separately, go a different way, mark it, and then every day we go further and further. But what if them niggas get lost? What if them niggas run into the grievers and shit? Well, protect yourself. Because <laughs> <laughs> them shits was crazy, bro. Them niggas, you get stung by them shits. They give you like, they have like the little stingers, and when you get stung, you have like the disease or something like on it. Yeah, I don't know. So I think, but that, I think I'll do the maze run. I think I'll, I think I will, I don't know if I'll be able to survive that or get out. But I think I would rather do that than I have a better chance of surviving that than going into war with all them Taliban and falling mm-hmm. down the mountains. I don't think anybody's doing that. I ain't gonna lie. But the Maze Runner, like I like the whole concept of it, like how they're a bunch of kids and they have they literally had to learn how to like they create a society with rules and things like that. But like when when things started get out of line, they tried to like go back to that society when the whole point is like you have to get out mm-hmm. their whole point was like they had to survive and stay in but they really your point the point of the whole thing was just to see who could escape yeah but like they didn't realize that till the end or until they had to put like what's his name Thomas in 
because he's the only one that had a, a sense of like I can't stay here. Everybody else was like, you know what? We're gonna live here. We're gonna be live here. We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna um we're gonna survive. We're gonna thrive. We're gonna make a whole ecosystem. But just but they're all a bunch of boys. <laughs> so like it's like it was so crazy. Like like but they're kids, so they really they wouldn't understand. And I guess it's like when you throw like I feel like they do that a lot with like when like you know little mice experiments yeah so they probably do that where they'll throw one mouse in that would probably like change the thing of like he basically what he did was just change the whole culture of what that in there their whole minds set because nobody wanted to kill one of them things nobody ever thought of doing it but he was the only one that did because he was a scientist so they probably they did all that shit on purpose yeah especially with the girl too to make it be like all right but, but maybe the girl was just in case they never got out. Like, oh, you got a girl. Now you can a little repopulate a little bit. Because she, they said she was the last one. So they was like, just in case you don't get out, we got this girl here. So y'all can go crazy. <laughs> y'all can go crazy. That's, oh, my God. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Whole bunch of... Oh, my God. Them niggas, some of them niggas was gay. Chill. But um, <clears throat> uh, what else is the stuff I got to talk about? Um, Oh, I seen something the other day. This is this is some crazy thing I was talking about. So, so what if right? It made me think. So what if humans move from planet to planet because they destroy each planet along the lines? So we started off at the first planet, which I think is Mercury, and then we went to Venus, and then we went to Earth, and now we're going to Mars. Yeah, because we're destroying this planet. Exactly because like this is what I thought right? Because I seen something that said that Venus used to be. A planet that had water on it and like it was a habitable planet that had like so they don't know if they had life on it but they said there was signs of like water and stuff on it but like suppose i guess like a couple million or billion years ago some event happened that caused like the planet to like be uninhabitable like a whole like catastrophic event happened i don't know if it, i think something happened with like co2 right levels rose or something like that and the oxygen was good enough or not oxygen something happened so what if <clears throat> we lived on venus right and we caused that whole like catastrophic event because of how we're, what we're doing now we're like killing the planet and something happened like where we couldn't live on it no more. So then we moved to Earth, and that was the the comet that killed the dinosaurs. It was us on that. It was like a spaceship, oh. and we came here and killed off all the dinosaurs, and then we started living here, and then we're building everything back up again, just like how it was. And now, you ever realize we're so fascinated with Mars? Yeah, and like. Everybody wants to be like, oh, we're going to go to Mars. We're going to make civilizations on Mars. Elon Musk like, oh, we're about to go to Mars soon. Rover on Mars. Mars is like, but it's like, what if they they know like the same thing that happened to Venus is happening to us. Like we're killing our planet so bad that we have to escape. And they're creating an escape plan to go to Mars for us to live on the Mars and to restart the whole thing. Like just imagine that. Cool. Nah, that's crazy. Because they really be pushing like, like I remember I seen a, they, there was an article that said that by before 2040 will be on mars 2040 mm -hmm. so almost a little less than 20 years still. i know would you go to mars i'm lit i'm lit at mars you going to mars if you go to mars I, well it depends how the world is at that time like if i see the world's at, about to end for real for real then yeah i'm out but what if they won't let you on this shit? Oh, damn. What if they will let us on? That's all you got. We have to have, like, high positions in the world. Like, remember that movie, uh, like, uh, deed. like Greenland that we watched? Yeah. Only, like, like uh, important people was able to go into that bunker. Well, I'm deed. Yeah. I don't know nobody higher up either. They gonna need some nail ticks. <laughs> the future. Please. They but, gonna be like, oh, no, for real, though. Exactly. I need to get my stuff up. Exactly. You gotta be the best one so you can teach the next people of nail ticks. And be like, you take me, I'll do your nails for free. Hey, fucking yo. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, like it's weird because it really seems like, because like, you know, remember there was like all the scientists, right? Like all this, there was like a bunch of scientists that freaking uh, handcuffed themselves to banks. And they were saying like, yo, we've been killing the earth and things like that. Y'all not paying attention to it. Y'all not like taking it seriously. But like we've done stuff to the earth that y'all don't even know about. And like, it's like irreversible at this point. Like, remember there was like a freaking clock on like a bank and that said like it was like a countdown of how many years we have left until like everything's irreversible mm -hmm. so like that was like a minute ago too so what if that shit's over with and it's like like we can't reverse anything that we've done like all this global warming thing is gonna like scorch the earth and something like that and we're gonna have to leave eventually just to, to like keep our life going like we're like they're like elon musk is on on it every all the government officials they're creating an escape plan for us to go live on mars they're not taking all of us though Nah, hell no. They're just gonna take so, a, like a couple. 
just enough where you could build, rebuild the society, and now they're just gonna rewrite history all over again, just start up from stri- from scratch. That's tough. That's crazy. Like, oh, now, now, what is some ra- what is some crazy shit? Imagine there's, imagine there's Martians, right? And the re- nah, this is weird <laughs> because they because like, I I be watching like, all the shows I watch like DC like they they go to Mars a lot and the reason and the reason why they don't go to Mars is because like the surface of Mars is really like bad and all the Martians live underground so what if like there's Martians right and we're trying to get to Mars but we have to like like make peace trees with the Martians for us to like go to their planet and like share it with them. That's why we haven't gone there yet. I don't know. That's I want to see some Martians. I do too. I wonder if they're little. I hope aliens look like avatars. <laughs> this guy. I don't want them to look like they're going to kill us. I want the little people so we can just step on them. No, I want them. Well, not the size of them. Just how they look. Oh, okay. They're so pretty. <laughs> the blue people? Mm-hmm. That's funny as hell. But, oh, another thing I seen. They said there was an ex-CIA agent that said the moon is a freaking spaceship. The moon is a spaceship. Like, remember remember that um movie we watched, uh, Moonfall? Yeah. When the moon wasn't, like, it wasn't a moon. It's like an actual... Oh, like you could go into yeah. it. Yeah. They said it's a spaceship. They said... He said <laughs> he said the moon was created by beings from Jupiter, like, 15, like, I think 15 million years ago. And they, they put it on our planet as, like, a, a watch house. And, like, orbits our planet just watching us. And there's, like, aliens living on it and stuff like that. And it's weird because, and it's it, I, like at first I was like, this is a whole like theory about because a lot of people believe like the that the moon is hollow, because I guess when they went up to the moon, they when they I think they they didn't land on it, they kind of crashed on it, and when they crashed, like you know when you crash, it's like it's not a the sound is like a like a whoosh or like a thud because because like if you land if something hits Earth because it's not hollow, it makes like a thud noise because mm-hmm. like there's stuff in the middle, but with um. With the moon, they said it, they hit the moon, and it was like a ringing noise. Like when you hit, like throw something at metal. Like you know when you oh. like that, like it, like it's like a ringing noise. Mm. And they said there's like a bunch of like there was like a bunch of theories about like there's a whole lot of shit. Like I was watching a video of so much shit. Like they said like the the way the moon is lined up is like perfectly aligns up where it seems like somebody put it there. Like it's not like it hasn't been formed. Like the way the axis is, it's like in a circle. And like not like a normal oval, like how our axis is around the sun. It's so freaking weird. Like it's it was so much math involved. I was like, yeah, I couldn't. I was just, I swear to God, it was like the craziest shit I ever watched. But it was like they were saying, and it was like, like we went to the moon almost what fifty years ago, and we never been back. Why? Because nobody landed on the moon. Maybe, maybe that too. I don't think nobody landed on the moon. Maybe that too. But I think, I think. I think both. I think either we didn't or we went to the moon and we seen something that we weren't supposed to see. Because think of it, the moon don't rotate. So the moon, one side of the moon always faces us at all times. So maybe something mm. on the, a lot of people say on the back of the moon, it might be some type of spaceship, type of space shuttles, type of shit, type of space station. Ain't nobody landing on the moon. Just imagine though. They lied to us. Just imagine the aliens is up there that be going around as the ones that be is just watching us from they say they're all from all the beings are from Jupiter. That big ass planet with the with the the I think it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter? Yeah, I think so. I don't I don't know. I don't know about no planets. Isn't Saturn does Saturn have rings? Saturn's I the one I think Saturn. Saturn's the one, the one with the rings. rings. He also said there's forty planets in our solar system. But and they all have uh life on it. But think about it, we never who, know. Who who said that? An ex CIA agent. He said, how he knows this life on every planet? He's, we work for the CIA. They got all the secrets of the world. Mm-mm. You don't believe that? No. But think about it. They could NASA could tell us one thing, but there could be a whole other thing. True. That's true. But I still don't think they landed anywhere. Oh, you still don't think we landed anywhere? You think we've just been stuck out, stuck on here? Mm-hmm. It could have been a thing because they was the whole time they were just trying to race with Russia to see who made it first, like a bunch of little kids. <clears throat> I really want to know, like, why do they go to Space Force? Like as in us, mm-hmm. um, I think they go to space to. F- they, I think they have like a lot of like machines up there, like satellites to like uh-huh. look at the galaxy and things like that, like telescopes. So I think they go up there to like repair it and shit. And they stay there's like a, I think there's always a crew up there. Like there's a there's a space station up there. See that's right now I'm, there's people up there right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a space station, right? Why can't you just put the space station on the moon? 
Why don't they record it? Th- that's another thing. Why don't you just like? I feel like they. I think they record some things, but it doesn't look like they on the move. <laughs> they, they. It looks kind of like they could. They fake, could fake that yeah. shit. But like, if you landed on the moon, why ain't you no footage? What of the moon landing? Yeah. You never seen the moon landing footage before? No. Uh, and if I did, I thought it was fake. It do look fake. It look do look kind of fake. fake. It look kind of fake. But there is, there's not footage of them actually landing on it. But there's them just like you know hopping around and shit. If they gave me the opportunity to go up there, I would. You would. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like just to see and float around. They was talking about in a couple of years you can go to the moon. They'll bring people to the moon for a vacation. Oh, not a vacation, but just one day vacation. Yeah, like I think they say it takes three days to go to the moon. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You want to do that? If it was one day, like I just. 20 minutes, you know. I'm about to say, you don't even like planes. Yeah, no. How the fuck are you going to be on a spaceship? You're going to be yeah, stressed but out. Like, I will be stressed out, but it'll be like an experience. Like, What's a lifetime? Nobody nobody up here with me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody up here with me is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a bar. I ain't going to lie. Nah, that's what Neil Armstrong should have said, bro. That should have been his first word. Fuck that one last man. Nobody... <laughs> Nah, what do you say? He said one small step for man, one giant. Nigga, you should have said nobody up here with me. <laughs> for real. Nobody up here with me. That's just, oh, that's fire. I ain't gonna lie. If you go, if we ever go to the moon, that's the first thing I'm saying. That's, I'm gonna take a picture and that's my caption. <laughs> you grinch. <laughs> you grinch as fuck. What the fuck? No. Are you watching it? Yeah, I want to see though. <laughs> Yo Nah y'all ain't up here with me It's crazy <laughs> yeah. Yo this is fake as heck This is a movie footage <laughs> They recorded that shit I wonder if they still like That's what I'm saying That do look kind of fake That's so fake What the fuck they set up the camera Look at how he jumped <laughs> <laughs> nah, that look crazy. That's so fake. <laughs> I will have a time on the moon. What would you be doing? I don't know. I'll be trying to do flips. You go. You go jump too high. You go get. <laughs> you go fly into space. Be like, oh. <laughs> you be like, oh shit! <laughs> Somebody help me get down. Hey, fucking yo, that's funny as hell. But, but um, to piggyback on more like the aliens and things like that. Do you know? You ever heard of the the Heaven's Gate cult? No. So, so there's little religions around the not religions, they're they're cults around the world that believe in like, like, like aliens and stuff like that's their gods and things mm-hmm. like that, right? So in nineteen, in on March twenty sixth, nineteen ninety seven, thirty nine bodies were found in a house, and it was like a mass suicide. But each all the bodies were placed in a in a in their own beds. And they they had bunk beds, but like there was a lot of rooms in the house. It was a big ass mansion, so each body was in a in a bed with a purple blanket on top and the same Nike shoes. So like it was crazy because a lot of because a lot of people thought like Nike was in on all this shit, mm-hmm. but it was just a whole thing. And like they were crazy. Like they used to go on air and like talk to people like um like how like the the purge people do. They used to be like that, and their whole like even their leader died. So their but their whole like um. Their whole motto or whole belief in the religion was that their souls were gonna reach the net, were gonna go to the next level, and like they were gonna get out of their human form, humanoid bodies. They were gonna get out of their human forms, and their souls were gonna go to like another level, and they were gonna get a ride from an alien spacecraft that was behind the. Yo, it was crazy. It was a. It was like the, so they believed that there was an alien that their souls would be taken up by an alien space spacecraft that was flying behind a comet that passed by during that like same time period i think the comet was called like like the bop comet or something there's some weird shit i forgot i forgot what the comet is called it's some it was a bit it was a comet that came by in 1997 right so people just thought they was crazy and things like that but two weeks before that's when the com the comet came i think two weeks before but it was just like a whole like the timing of everything was mad weird so two weeks before right in arizona when the comet came over, right, there's a bunch of eyewitnesses seeing an air, uh, an alien ship behind the comet, like a giant ship. They said it was bigger. It was as big as two football fields, and it was huge going right behind the ship. And people say maybe they did get picked up, or maybe they're just crazy. Because, <laughs> like, think about it. That's some, that's some nutty. That's a weird coincidence, though. That like, is. Because, like, 
because okay, they're two weeks apart, but like, what if they what if they didn't find the bodies till like two weeks? They killed themselves two weeks when the shit happened, and they found their bodies two weeks after. Wow! Like, think I'm, about. I'm trying to think about it. Like, so their whole deal was that their minds were their souls, like their their souls were gonna get taken by the aliens, and there was gonna there was there was like a it was like a ride, like a like a hitchhike or some shit like that. Their souls gonna get picked up by the aliens and taken to like a new like level of life or shit like that, a new world or something like that. They was gonna get taken by the aliens. And just so happened there was a bunch of eyewitness reports of a UFO behind that same comet that they was talking about. Like a giant UFO. Like there was a bunch of cases. It was like in nineteen ninety seven. So I don't I don't even know where it was. I think it was like somewhere in like South Southern California, but it was like in people seen it in Arizona. There was a uh, part on the rookie where this famous guy was making like a cult. Yeah. And it was supposedly about to be the end of the world. Like there was like a nuclear or something coming mm-hmm. to the thing. And these people in his cult that he formed them to be in his cult was about to jump off like a building or something. Because he, he was like, yeah, Jedediah is going to save us. I was like. Yeah, cults is crazy, bro. Bugging. Because like it's it's weird though. Like it's like. You, if you have that much influence on somebody, you could really make them do whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of p- famous people, people could probably make a cult. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, you. They probably making cult. They probably have cults right now. What the fuck. <laughs> Next one. Nah, the Nets. Oh. If y'all don't know, my parents just tweaked in the background. <laughs> you just hit like a big yippee, <laughs> like a woo. I was like, what the fuck was that? But yeah, they said they said, like, who knows? They might be having cults on the low. Kanye definitely got a cult. I don't know. Nah, chill. Kanye <laughs> don't got a cult. Nobody gonna follow Kanye. But it's like, but it's like anything with a small amount of people that goes against the church is a cult. Wait, what? Say that again. So, any so the church's beliefs like what's right and what's wrong. Anything that goes against that those moralities and that doesn't have a, a like a big group of people behind it is a cult. Think, yeah. Like any 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 form of group that believes in something that goes against what the church believes in or what is right or wrong and things like that is a cult technically. But like so, as in where freaking you must you must commit crimes to be you must because there's a lot of cults that there's people that used to kill people to be because they they killed the people because they felt like they weren't with them. There's also cults where they inbreed within themselves. Oh no. Like it's like it's like that. Like there's one just one guy on top. He has a bunch of women and children, and just has sex with all of them, and just keep having kids, and just going, going, going like that. Like I think somebody escaped a cult. Like he it was on TikTok. He was like, he had one like on his mom's side. He had like a couple relatives, but on his dad's side, he had like three hundred something. Like, it was, a, and he never they never go outside. They all it's like a little it's like a town. That's why little like the little towns in like in like West Bubblefuck. Them just might be like cults. Like I know, like I feel like cults are more common like the Midwest, like in like mm-hmm. the plain areas, like Nebraska, because like there would be random towns in the middle of nowhere. Like you, like just imagine you driving, take the wrong turn, you just go into like a, a random nice looking town, and everybody just like looks like all out of whack and shit. Like it's like <laughs> they all look like each other. Yeah, not even look like each other. They all like um, like um, feel like they're all like brainwashed. Like they don't, they don't have like more out. They don't have like normal human morals. Mm-mm. Like they don't know what's right. They talk weird. Like it's like what the fuck is going on here? But like that's I don't I don't want to get into like the whole religion and cult thing because I will f- I'm gonna get st- put on the stake. But pe- people know people know I don't I don't I don't got I'm not baptizing nothing like that. So I I got nothing, I'm not disrespecting nobody religion. I'm not Logan Paul on this hoe. I ain't doing none of that shit. I love everybody. I believe in God. I believe. They about to fry you in the comments. <laughs> I believe in doing a good. If you do something good, something good would happen to you. I believe in all that stuff. So don't even talk. Don't, don't touch me, nigga. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't go to church though. <laughs> but yeah, nah. All that, all that, that shit with the cult, bro. That's just. It was crazy. The nigga said. Nigga said. But it's like, how? I wonder how they died though. They never just said how they died. They didn't say like the cause of death was this. They just said the mass a mass suicide. That's weird. So like, what if like what if they was all just laying there and you just say, just like gets taken up, like your mind, not even not your body, your mind. They all wore the same thing, same night. That's why it was like a bad like promotional thing for Nike, because they literally all had the same Nikes on. So they was like, what oh, the yeah. hell is Nike doing? <laughs> like like you know they probably thought they sacrificed some people, but 
They probably did. What if they really? What if they? What if they knew the secrets and they made it to the next level and we're just stuck here? The next level. <laughs> I don't know what the next level is. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm good on this level. I know I'm cooling. I'm I'm I'm, I'm all right. chilling. I'd be thinking we're in a simulation, but it just makes me sad every time I think about it. <laughs> I think I, I think I reached that point in life where I, I question a lot of no, things. No, I was thinking about. I think you talked about this on your podcast before, but how because when we watched the Avatar, you know how their minds was like. Well, like, they were frozen for, like, five years because yeah. they wanted to travel somewhere or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, what if that's us right now? Like, we're in, like, just... It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Because I, I, it's just too... I, I feel like everything is just too, like, set up. Like, like boys and girls is, like, made to, like... And everything, every single thing has a boy and a girl. What if we wake up and you had a wife, would you tell her about me? Of course I would. I'll try to go find you. What if I'm not alive in here? I'm going to go search your name up. She's going to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. you can be like, you loyal to the soil. Loyal to you, girl. No. Yeah, like, what do you mean no? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what do you mean no? <laughs> Once you find out you had a wife, you're going to be like... She gonna be ugly that, cause that you're the baddest in the world. You gonna be like, that was just a dream. Get the fuck that out of here. That was just my dream, girl. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but nah, that it, it scares me. Like, yo, there's a freaking. I seen. We can we're gonna, we're gonna do it on your TV. There's a um there's a uh channel on the Roku TVs called Hopper, and it's like a it's like you could download and things like that, and it's like a whole conspiracy type of shit, like a like a rabbit hole. You ain't downloading that on my TV. There ain't no dark web <laughs> shit. But I want to see. They said they got it's just like a big rabbit hole. It's like, are you ready to take the jump? I'm like, what the fuck? Jump? What? Now nah, we should do it. <laughs> yeah, no, we should do it. We'll do it later. But nah, I just I got I be thinking like I'm at that point in life where I like a lot. I question a lot of things. Like I just Me go too. through my day, be like, yo, this is some weird shit. Like I feel like everything's just too perfect. I don't know. But all right, I got a, I got another question, right? <laughs> so, would you rather? Fight a seven foot penguin or five hamsters the size of toddlers. So five hamsters the size of Elijah. Yeah, just like that. Like that. Or a seven foot penguin. A seven foot penguin. I'm not gonna lie, I think a pe- a seven foot penguin kinda dense. Because yeah. they kinda fat. But hamsters be biting. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if penguins bite, but like I'm not beating a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like penguins is mad solid. Like if I punch it, it's not gonna feel nothing. Like just 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 imagine punching a penguin, just like it's just oh. gonna. What do you mean? Oh, fuck that nigga! He gonna kill me? What the fuck? Fuck that nigga! Dang, I'm not gonna beat none of them, but them some big ass hamsters. There's five of them, and they bite. I'm my best bet is for the penguin? a penguin. I know, but I'm not beating no seven. Okay, you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna fight the penguin. I think nah. I'm, How about penguin my size? Nah. Then we could get it on. You're going to do a penguin the size of Shaq. Is, how, how tall is he? Shaq's seven one. A penguin that's seven foot two fifty. How tall is your um my ceiling? Probably like ten. Ten feet. So it's up to the door. Oh, that's not bad. That's what I'm saying. You could it'll be I would not die to a penguin. There's a lot of things I won't die to in this world. And one of them is a penguin. Yeah, the hamsters, five of them. They just gonna gang up on me and just like be eat like, me like rabbits. I know. Oh my yeah, god. Nah. The size they be of, biting hard too. Like that's like a two foot long hamster. Yeah, nah. Oh I'm going god. against that penguin. Ooh. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I'm gonna die. Like, what is it gonna do? Just hit me? Like, slap me? The only thing it could do is just just go like this. Just, just <laughs> exactly. Like, they don't have arms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going against penguins. The penguin. Yeah. If they fall on me though, it's deed. I know, right? That's what I'm that's saying. They, they do that little belly flop. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. They're going to break my back. Oh, yeah, nah. I'm still doing the penguin. Now. Like, just imagine, like, you just see him coming down the street full speed. That should probably go as fast as a car. Oh, yeah. That should probably go, like, 40 miles an hour if you go. That's, that's going to kill. That's like getting hit by a car for real. They're used to cold weather, though. So you're going to put him in the... What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> like, you, Chi-Chi Fritz, y'all th- nah, you, Chi-Chi Fritz, I forgot who else, you, Jay, y'all think if y'all just heat up cold animals, they're just going to die yeah. and melt. Like, what does that mean? That would do nothing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All like, right, what? but they're out of their environment. They're going to be uncomfortable. They're going to be confused? Like, <laughs> yes, the they're going to be like, why is it so hot? Like, they don't mean- <laughs> they're going to be real uncomfortable and I'm going to catch them when they're like it. You're really the third person to do that. What is this? What is going on? Like, why is this a thing, bro? There's, there's zoos in San Diego. 
with penguins. Yeah, but oh, yeah, no. But I mean, they they probably got the cold. The water might be cold, but I don't see no snow in there. I mean, no, actually, they're inside. Exactly. No, 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 the, the, no. In Pensa, in uh, in Philly, their zoo, they have the penguins outside. Well, I will smack them penguins up. Cause they're out of their environment. I'll kill them penguins. <laughs> I will kill that penguin, bro. All right, I got an, I got another question. Right, you're trapped in a house for 24 hours. You have to survive 24 hours for a chance at 50 million dollars. So if you survive, you get fifty million dollars. Will you rather be trapped in there with a gorilla or seven black mamba snakes? In a house? In a house. So yeah, in a house. Damn. That made it harder than the question you asked you did. But you said a mall. Yeah, no. Nah, fuck the mall. Nigga. Mall. Oh, or a gorilla. A gorilla. A gorilla or- in a house is crazy because they could just but are they like planning to attack me, they, or are they just like chilling around the house and I just have to like survive? If they see you, they're gonna attack. But yeah. if they don't see me, yeah. But like that don't mean that's gonna stop them from breaking down this door, just just to see what's in here. I probably do the gorilla. Low key, right? I was thinking about doing the gorilla because you could hear him He's, coming up the stairs, knocking down your door, about to knock down your door. Like you could hide from him because you could hear him. The, the snakes. snakes but once he sees you, it's over. It's a gorilla. Yeah, but I'm not just gonna be. He knocked down the door. I'm not just gonna be sitting here like. Once <laughs> I see him, co- hear him coming up the stairs or wherever I'm at, I'm trying to hide somewhere. I want to pick the snakes. You're crazy. I want to pick the snakes. Just the. Oh, damn. I'm just gonna be afraid. Like if I'm taking a shit, like that, the niggas gonna be in the toilet. You you don't know where they're coming from. That's what I'm saying. They they could be like they're under silent. the bed. I know. Nah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna take the gorilla. I think honestly. All right, where would you hide? For a gorilla? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. I with mean, it. he's not trying to find people. So it's just if he sees me, he's going to attack. So, like. But where would you stay at, though? Like, say he's so in my house. Say, say he's, he's in, in your, your, say my, he's my your house. house. Your house. I'm downstairs with it. He, oh, can't, he, can't, he can't fit through the, the oh, dough. The thing? I'm going to be in the kitchen with it. In my house or your house? In my house. Oh. With the and knives? where are you going to hide if he. I got knives. I'm firing. I'm firing you for my not life. I'm killing a that gorilla nigga. with knives. Killing that nigga. He can't beat me with a knife. Barehanded, he might got it. With a knife, he not. He not beating me. You he, not beating a gorilla with knives. He's not beating me. You're crazy. I'm gonna stab the hell out of that thing. You think I can beat a gorilla with a knife? No. Why? You know how big gorillas are. So don't mean nothing. I got a knife. I got you. Fry him in the comments. Them big butcher knives. You don't think he, you gonna let him get that close to you? Look, You're not look. gonna be able to do that. Look, he's a. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Shh, shh. He's not gonna be like vroom, vroom, vroom. once he's right next to you, you can be like boom boom boom. He don't punch, he bite. As soon as he try to bite me, she, she He can punch, he got some long arms. Gorillas don't like, punch, they bite. Uh, uh, gorillas is not like like us. They don't think oh hand to hand. They think bite because they're animals. They try he try to bite me, she right in his right in his right here. Sh- well, over. This over. Guy, this Mortal Kombat is could, ass, bro. He could beat a gorilla. I am prepared. Knife. You're crazy. Main main character syndrome, bro. <laughs> sh- sh- dead, bro. And t- you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, I got I got another thing we could talk about, right? So I have another. There's another conspiracy that I seen that's in California, right? So there's a mountain in California that's called Mount Shasta, and supposedly there's a whole city in that mountain. Like the mountain's just a cover up, or there's a there was a city that's like hidden in the mountain. Like there's like so supposedly in 1904. There was a le- the legend says that in 1904 a British um I think it's like a British proctor the guys that go find gold and stuff he went to the mountain to go look for gold and stuff like that his name was J C Brown I think yeah J C his name was J C Brown and he went to the mountain to go look for gold and he found a, a a cave and he went into the cave and it was actually like a tunnel and the tunnel went like 11 miles so he was walking through the tunnel and he found like a whole like little city in there he found hieroglyphics in there. And then he found like tombs full of like giants, and there was like uh, tombs in there, and the bodies in there were like seven to ten feet tall, people, right? Big so then, foot. I, don't, I don't know if it's big, big, big foot, foot's babies. They said it was like giant human people, like they was in coffins. It was like I think he he found twenty seven of them, and it was like they looked like humans, but they just bigger, and like he so he tried to keep a secret, but then he started being like really interested in it, and started like researching more. Until like thirty years afterwards, he got he gathered up like eighty people to go in there and to investigate it and like excavate it and things like that, 
And on the day they was about to go explore it, he went missing. And they never found him again. And a lot of people think that city is still, like, active. Like, there's, like, people, because people think that there's, like, a hollow earth and there's, like, aliens that live in our earth and shit like that. So they think that the people in that city are still, like, they're still, like, people in there. Like, not yeah. us, but maybe, like, aliens and things like that. And a lot, a lot, like, you know, like, the reptilian people, they say a lot of, that's what, that's their base where they go to and they go there all the time. But it's, like, it's kind of weird because, like, don't they say reptilians, like, disguise themselves as, like, our celebrities? And yeah. in California, there's Hollywood. So, like, what if, like, some of them niggas got out and they disguise themselves as, like, celebrities and shit like that? I don't believe in all the reptilian shit, people. Don't, don't. <laughs> don't quote they me on that. They fly you in the comments. They will, but like it's kind of, it's kind of, it'll be crazy if like that's a weird coincidence. Like in California, there's a city where all the reptilians go, and they say a lot of our like the famous people who go to Hollywood and live in California are like reptilians, and they're all in the same area. But like that's like a whole like legend that there is a whole city like built into a mountain. It's like it's a giant mountain too. And there's a lot of like weird things that happen. Like people see a lot of weird things. They see a lot of UFO sightings around that mountain. Why don't people just go and figure it out? Like like not not ra- random people, but like cops, FBI agents. They probably do go in there, but just they just don't tell us. Like they probably they probably got like a little treaty with them. Just they just only a certain few could go in there. Just to like I wanna know. That's what I'm saying. You need to know. I don't want to know where that bad to where they're gonna kill me. Oh yeah, no, not that. I just want to know if they is real is a real thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to search into it. I don't care that I'm, much. I'm gonna make a petition. Get <laughs> just like how remember they was they made a petition for people to go storm Area 51. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like what happened to that? What happened to that mission? I have no clue. Oh, COVID happened. We was gonna do it right before. Go- oh, imagine. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> Just imagine. Nah, ain't no way. Cause think about it, there was like almost like half a million people signed that shit. Don't mean half a million people gonna show up. Yeah. But like, just imagine they got scared and it was like, all right, you know, Send quarantine. This. Now everybody inside. Now everybody forgot about it. You gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, believe in it. Oh shit! Damn. Cause that's weird. Cause it like remember, I think I signed that shit. <laughs> I definitely did sign that shit. Just cause, cause it was. I'm like, what the fuck are we about to do? We gonna storm in there? He's like, they ain't not gonna stop all of us. Like, what the fuck? They gonna shoot at y'all? <laughs> I don't know, bro. That was that that time period was crazy, bro. Area 51. Ain't no way that was a period of COVID. It was right. That's I think crazy. it was right before. I think it was like 2019, like that either that summer or that one of that uh the winter. 2019. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, imagine that's why they did all the COVID stuff. Like, they. You dead. <laughs> not just, I don't know what's you going dead. on. <laughs> like, just like that. That shit's weird, right? The weird coincidence. That is. Like, what if, what if they had, we really had a lot of secrets in there and we was about to uncover and it's like, nah, we can't let them do it. Here, now throw out this disease. Not everybody in the world. That's crazy, bro. That's so crazy. Damn. If y'all not here. No. I don't believe in it, government. Yeah, I know. Y'all watching it. Man, yeah, they watching that me right true. now, nigga. You watch me right now on the little screen, bro. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but now it's to that point in the show where we're going to talk about no, more legends. So we have urban legends from each state of America. So people, comment in your state down below if you want some new urban legends from your own state. So today we got two, actually, because I've been slacking. So today we're going to talk about Oklahoma, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you like Oklahoma? You like the softball team. Yeah. Yeah. But but little Gators. Oh, you're a Florida oh, yeah, I forgot you're a Florida fan. So so in Oklahoma, right? There's supposedly a Bermuda, a Bermuda Triangle type of event in Oklahoma. I played in Oklahoma, if you guys wanted to know. Yeah, she's nice. But so there's a there's a state park called Beaver Dune State Park and it's known as like the Bermuda it's the it's known as Oklahoma's Bermuda Triangle. So a lot of it, this stuff dated back to like the 1500s and a lot of like explorers and settlers will walk. So it's a basically 300 acres of sand dunes and things like that, like not really forests and things like that. It's like sand dunes and like hills and shit like that. And people, a lot of the Native Americans told like the explorers back in the 1500s, like don't go through there because a lot of people never came back. And it's called no man's land for a reason. Mm-hmm. So a lot of explorers would go there and they would like disappear and a lot of people say, like, when they disappear, it's, like, a lot of, like, flashes come by, like, green lightning. Like, they just went to, like, another dimension, like a portal or something like that. And a lot of people think there's, like, a, either a portal or something 
supernatural, something weird that's happening there. Just like in the Bermuda Triangle, when people go there, they go missing. It's like another realm for another doorway to another dimension. There was a like there's a, like a bunch of like over the years there's a bunch of missing people cases where they just disappear randomly. And I think I think recently or a couple years like maybe thirty years ago, a lot of like people that go throughout the park, like around it, they seen like military people at the park like digging something in the sand. Mm. And a lot of people say they seen like UFOs crash there. So maybe there's like a portal underneath like the the sand or underneath the park that's like taking people to different dimensions so when they go to that specific area like it's just sometimes it's like a it's like a like a zap like it's like they say they see green lightning some weird shit like always it's like weird like nobody like there's not a lot of people like going over there and it's like a lot of people like disappeared i would do it like take me i know my dumb ass would just go there just to like <laughs> this shit ain't real I, I, that scares me though but like, just like there's there's a lot of shit like that like little like people like like Bermuda Triangles all over the world. I heard there's one in like Alaska. There's one in like Asia. Hey man, Mm-mm. they went to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got a. I got another one. This one's a little. This is scarier. So this is an urban legend from Missouri. And it's called Zombie Road. So there's a there's Zombies. yeah. So there's a road in Missouri in Wildwood, Missouri. That's I think it's like a couple miles out of St. Louis. And there's a road that was built on top of an ancient Native American burial ground. And it's so, like, haunted that they close it at night times. Like, you can't walk on, like, it's open on, on sunrise, but on sunset they close it. Like, they have security, all that. So, supposedly, that there's so many, like, crazy things that happen. Like, the reason why they call it Zombie Road is because there was a there was an old man that used to live in the woods, in a shack in the woods. And he used to, like go out there and attack he used to go and attack couples that used to go in on the road and like have like a long time and he would go and attack them and kill them like with an axe and he used to his name they call him a zombie killer like he used to like you know how zombie they kill zombies with axe he used to go around like that there was like um a lot of people died there some guy there's like a train track there some guy died on the train tracks and supposedly there's a whole like the the story behind like there's a whole like weird urban story that they tell people to scare them is that I guess a group of girls that didn't believe like the whole thing was like real. They were skeptics about it. They snuck past the guards and like went onto the road at night. And they said one of the girls was feeling sick. Like they felt like there's like cold spots there. Like you just feel weird and things like that. And they heard a scream, like a little girl screaming. And then when they heard the little girl scream, the guard came by and the girls was riding on bikes and stuff to get in there. When they, when the guard came, they just, they just, he just found their bikes and it was just like broken up. And like ways that like nobody could break it like physically by your hands, mm. and like they couldn't find the girls no more. So the guards could survive there. They're not in there. They're just like on the outskirts. There's like you know probably like cars parked there. I don't know. If there's actual guards or they just like close it off. Oh. So it might they might just close it off and somebody probably seen it. But there was a there was another group. I think they was walking through the road like before it got before they closed it, and they said she felt like 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 cold and like her stomach was hurting. If she felt weird. And then she heard, like, the, they started, heard the same scream, like a little woman or a little girl screaming. And they, they started, like, walking a little faster. And then she said she felt, like, a pain on her leg. And then when she got home, she had, like, a big-ass scratch, like, on her leg. Like, mm-hmm. if something, like, grabbed her like this. Bet you it was white people. I don't know. I ain't going in there. That's just Hell no. that's scary, bro. This is, oh, my God. For a million dollars, you're not going through there? Hell no. Nah, hell no. Hell no. I don't like, I don't like ghost people. I don't like none of that shit, bro. I don't like none of that Mm-mm. shit. Never. Not even for ten million. Ten not even for ten million. No. Damn, I can get it through. But like, you think? Do you really think ghosts could really like do shit like that? Like touch people and like hurt them? I think like ghosts, no. But like demons, demons, yeah. I feel like Native Americans have like the craziest like demons. Like yeah, them no. niggas could turn into like humans <laughs> and shit. Like them, those are the crazy. Like I would not mess with them. Like if a Native American said that shit's bad, I'm cool off that. Like they said there's like mm-hmm. hundreds of bodies like buried underneath like the road and shit. Nah, I'm good. Cool off that. I'm good. <laughs> so if it was in if it was in your crib, you'd be di- you dip out. What? Like say you had like some shit like that in your yeah. crib. Yeah. <laughs> when my mom freaking we have that camera mm-hmm. and she said like when she see when she first got the camera, she saw like these little flakes or whatever on it mm-hmm. passing by and she was like, "Oh yeah, those are like spirits or whatever." 
<laughs> I was about to do. <laughs> uh-uh. like I mean, spirits are like nice. It was good spirits, obviously, but like still, like I don't like that stuff. I know. I don't. Uh, if you you can have like a little. Now, what if it's like a little little boy? He just like saying, no, "I don't Hello. care." No. Oh, he just like he just wants to play. Like he like just imagine in your room, you just see like a Mm-mm. like you roll a ball out and somebody rolls it back nope. in. <laughs> you leaving. done? I'm leaving. Hey yo, but do I have anything else we can talk about? Did I miss something? I feel like do I did. Do a Christmas haul. A Christmas haul? But I got oh, you for Christmas. Yeah, so people, this is the day after Christmas. Y'all know May, tw- uh, I said May, December 26th. <laughs> so we got, we just opened our gifts. So Jay bought me this hoodie if y'all don't, know, y'all don't see it. Yeah. Rate the hoodie one to 10. 10. Wait, who, who got a better? I bought her this sweater. Who's is nicer? I know it's me. No, but that came from my mind. I put this on my Christmas list. Thank you very much. So I'm thoughtful. Christmas list. I'm more thoughtful though. Cause it was like I know your style. She bought me these New Balances too, bro. Y'all like these? Tell me these look nice. Yeah. These hard, these hard fire. Got to drop. Oh damn. <laughs> now I like these though. She got me some flared sweatpants. She got me mad posters and things like that. She got me uh, what she got me? Posters, posters sweats, yours, two sweats, hoodies. Hoodie. And this is nice. I like this and is a good Christmas. Got you the massage thingy. Yeah. So, so people, so do you have anything else to say before I end the podcast? No. You want you want to say something to people? Cause I was gonna talk about the New Year's. No. So, so like I <laughs> like I said, when y'all hear this, is probably gonna be New Year's. So happy New Year's to y'all from the members of the No Regulars podcast. You know what I'm saying? I hope all y'all New Year's resolutions go well for this new year. And for the people that are starting to do something like this, never give up, bro. Even though how hard it may be. Even with the haters saying, everybody want to start a podcast now, still start it. Start the podcast. And don't do it just for the money. We don't do it for the money. We do we do this because it's fun. Yeah, we still I, broke. Yeah, we broke as fuck. <laughs> so, I'm, we still recording this shit with phones, if y'all don't know. <laughs> no, facts. So, like, I remember there was a guy who said, he, he put on TikTok, he's like, you inspired me to make my own thing like this. I was like, that really, that touched my heart. What was his name? I thought, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, man. But, but yeah, make sure y'all, we, what was I going to say? There was something I was going to say with the Christmas thing. Fuck, I forgot. You said you were going to talk about New Year's. Oh, yeah. So, so New Year's resolutions, make sure y'all got, y'all get those done. Stick to it. Don't just do it for a month and go, get, um, go away with it. If you want to lose some weight, go lose some weight. If you want to go in the gym, get in the gym and just be consistent. That's the, Key thing with life, bro. If you want to get somewhere in life, you just got to be consistent. That's it. Like with the podcast, at first I was only posting once every two days. But once I started posting every day, then look where we're at now, bro. I could ne- I would never have thought we would be where we're at right now. 240,000 people know who we are. Facts. That's uh, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Should we, talk, should, should we talk about the New Year's New Year's resolutions for the podcast or should we wait till we should, we, or should we just do it? I mean, you could talk about your resolution before the new year. So, I mean, so my goals for the end of this year, well, should, I, should I talk about what my goals were for the end of this year? Or is, is that bad luck? I don't know. No, nah, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk, talk about, about it. it. But new things coming this year for the new podcast. For the podcast. I said new podcast. You new can year. write it down. Oh, yeah. I'm going to write it down. So, new things happening this year for 2023. If y'all think we went up in 2022, just wait. 2023 is going to be a good year for us. I got new setups on the way. New equipment, new uh, new layouts of the room, but it's going to look nice. New. You should get one of those light-up things. What, like the the green background? Like it's like grass and stuff? No, it's like a light-up. It says, it'll say like no regular podcast or something, but it lights up. So like when you record your podcast, you'll see it. I was thinking about doing that. That look nice. I was thinking, like, because you ever seen like, did that shit open? No, it was it's been open. Scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I was thinking about you know when they put like grass on the wall and they have like that light up oh, thing. Yeah. I was thinking like that, but I don't know if that would look nice. Yeah, no, nah, not with the blue walls. Not blue walls, right? But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when we get there. But yeah, bigger and better things, people. If y'all thought we was up, I mean we not up, but we gonna get there, people. Don't worry. New, a lot of new things, new uh projects coming in the future too. Nice. A lot of ideas. So thank y'all again for the people that's new to the podcast that just came in either today, tomorrow. To the people that's been here since we started almost a year and a half ago, thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for tuning in and enjoying what we uh, dish out to y'all every single week. And we, like I said, just stay consistent, people. Wait, what are we gonna have them comment? Oh, we want we want them to have them comment. You can pick the word. Oh my god, 
This is a lot of pressure. Why you do that? Follow our socials down below. All the links will be down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Send it to a friend who don't know about No Regulars Podcast. And to the... Oh, shout out to Natural Shield G and Shop Gold. Natural Shield G. Look, we ate all of it. If you're watching, we ate all. We ate it all. So, shout out to Natural Shield G. Use code No Regulars to save you 35% off of all supplements. Help your mind. Help you focus. It also helps you with your hair and growth. You know what I'm saying? testosterone for my fellas it's good detox for you in the morning and to the person that stole my wallet if you watching this give me my shit back nigga <laughs> fuck you talking about because i know if you, you st- if you there still, was nothing in that wallet come on now if you still got that shit you search my name up and you see no records podcast and you see this episode and you go always to the end you could suck a dick <laughs> god damn it but so what's the word so if you watch this whole episode what is the word to comment, comment get daris's wallet back Comment, get Darius's wallet back in the comments if you watch the whole episode. Follow all the socials, all that shit. Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope y'all New Year is as great as y'all. And yeah, we different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.